Now I have found in the past that when I'm going to go and turn something like this, I come along and the chisel, when it catches on the corner here, it has in the past pulled this top layer off of the wooden layer. And I've noticed that when I round over the corners first and then do my turning, I don't have quite as much problem with that. I have found that I have either a tendency to overbuild or to make it very makeshift. And this sort of falls in the category of the latter. This is number uh, 33 grit. I've had this belt for a long time and I haven't actually used it until I started doing this. Now the idea is, when this goes in here, and some of you have seen me do this before, I can raise or lower this end by going like this. You know, crude but effective. And to get down to the other end I just raise or lower the drill. It works. I have to be very careful. One time I wasn't paying attention and I actually did my bushings a little tiny bit. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's give it a try here. And uh, this time I'm not going to go, uh, I only want to get it round. I don't want to go down anywhere near close to the bushings. Noticing the wood is a little bit punky right here, so I'll have to be careful. As you can see here, I did the other one exactly the same way. And this bushing is smaller than this bushing. So it sort of tapers a little bit this way, but you know, we'll be doing it again on the lathe anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But notice here that uh, crack where that knot was. It's going to be a little bit interesting. Now I think if I'm smart here, I'm going to strengthen this old spruce lumber, which is what I believe it is, with just a little bit of CA thin here. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. And then I'll turn it down a little bit. And I'll do it again. I'll just go down half a millimeter and, like I say, then I'll put some more on.
only put the CA glue on one more time and then I turned it down to what you see here. I think possibly if I just add another application of CA thin and uh, then I'll do the sandpaper thing. I'm pretty close to the bushing here. Um, I'll start out with 220 instead of 150. gone up to 1000 grit here. I'm noticing what appears to be a kind of translucent appearance to the acrylic. I think next time I do this I'll add more white and more green. I'm not going to give up on this yet. But I think this uh, these two blanks are going to turn out okay. They're going to be worth pressing. I think. Okay, let's get some finish on here now and see what we can do. I'm going to use some of the uh, cut and polish. Not bad. Yeah, I think it's worth pressing. Let's take a nice close look at this knot. Now you're going to be noticing a little hint of green there, and that is sort of the way I wish the blue had been, a lot more green. I'm going to keep trying at this, like I say, instead of 5 drops of white I'll put 10, and instead of 1 drop of green I'll put 3. Anyway, that's going to have to be another day. And I guess, tomorrow we press.